What's good, YouTube, and welcome to the house. Link Brains Pack 2 has its first information. I have no idea how many cards are here or what. I just saw the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization article pop up, and I am so excited to get into it. But a grim reminder, we don't know when, how, where we'll get any of these cards. We're still missing a huge grip of Link Brains Pack 1. Cherubini, our Aro Mage, Needle Fiber, Need I Say More, our Heratic Link. So much is actually just missing still. So this will be exploited, peppered throughout sets. But I'm still genuinely excited to figure out what these are, who they are, and the cards themselves, what they've been designed to do to help Link Summoning and archetypes of the past. So it's time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting with a Black Luster Soldier. Wow. All right. Black Luster Soldier, the Chaos Warrior. An Earth Warrior Link Effect, Link 3, 3000. Top, bottom left, bottom right. So those decode talker kind of pointers. Hopefully it does something when it points to something of your opponents. If this card was Link Summoned using a level 7 or higher monster. Interesting. Level 7 or higher monster. And three monsters with different names. Very achievable. So achievable, actually. It cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. So can't be targeted at all or destroyed by opponent's card effects is very, very good. This almost ensures that it needs to be taken care of by battle or non-targeting destruction slash shuffling back. This, that's pretty darn good protection, actually. The second effect, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle... You can activate one of these effects. This card gains 1500 attack, or this card can make a second attack during the battle phase of your next turn, or banish a card on the field. Wow, that last one, probably the best. The other one's the long game because it does have self-protection, so I get it. This is pretty darn good. It's relatively generic with three monsters of different names. You turn things into a token, a Link Rebo, and a Link Spider. There you go. You already have three different names looking. This this is really good. This is generically just good. It's not actual archetype support. It's just a shout out to Black Luster Soldier and bringing him into the Link era. This is, this is amazing. I like this one a lot, but it doesn't really seem to boost strategies or do what Link Frames Pack 1 did, but... I'm a fan. This is a really good card. I think you needed to give that other arrow. It doesn't really do anything with it. Let's get to the next card. Ooh. Thunder Dragon Goliath? A Thunder Dragon Link Monster? Alright, it's a Link 4 and takes 2 plus Thunder Monsters specifically, so you gotta flood the field with Thunder Monsters. And it has left, bottom, <laughs> bottom, right, and side, so nothing to the opponent. It, 4 isn't the easiest, but it's achievable. But I feel like you would be using it on different things, unless this is just the most busted thing in the world. You can only use this card name's first effect once per turn. If this card is Link Summoned, you can target a Thunder Dragon monster you have that is banished or in your graveyard. Apply the effect written on that monster that activates by discarding itself from the hand, then place it on the top or bottom of your deck. Alright, so an instant advantage back for those four monsters you spent. Second effect of a Thunder monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect. You can banish three cards from your graveyard instead, so to itself. I don't think that's really too insane off the bat. It looks almost like Mecha King Ghidorah to me. Its, it's name is Goliath. Looks a lot like Mecha King Ghidorah, actually. That's pretty cool, though. I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of this art. That's pretty nice. I do like the art, but I don't think the effect is that integral to anything happening with the Thunder Dragon deck. But let me know if there's something insane that I'm missing off the bat. But I feel like you'll be going into other plays than spending four monsters on this. A Parshath? Is, is that a Parshath? Sorry for whoever can read Japanese and saw the card below. I can't. Celestial Knight Lord Parsath, a Link Fairy, uh, Light Fairy Link effect, Link 3, 2400, bottom left, bottom, and bottom right, all arrows to you, 2 plus Fairy Monsters, so, how we doing this, boys? We pin summoning? What are we doing to get all that? You can only use this card's first and second effects once per turn each, you can discard one card, add... One Sanctuary in the Sky or a card that specifically lists the card name, the Sanctuary in the Sky, and its text from your deck to your hand. That's, alright, that's cool. If the Sanctuary in the Sky is not, is on the field, you can actually add a Fairy Monster instead, so not in addition to. So you can just rota out any Fairy Monster for having spent that many Fairies. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm guessing you'll want to probably make a Link 2 Fairy somehow first. How many are there? 
I'll have to look that up later. Number two here. If a face-up fairy monster or monsters you control is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can banish one fairy monster from your graveyard, especially summon a fairy monster with a higher level than the banished monster from your hand. I'm not feeling the second effect so much. The first effect's pretty cool, that searching effect. You do have to pay the discard for it after already using, assumably, three fairy monsters or a Link 2 fairy and a fairy. I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling these cards as much as Link Frames Pack 1, but I'm honestly glad for the balance compared to what they first did. Maybe they kind of learned their... <laughs> An alien, alien shock trooper mighty slash frame. All right. All right. A light reptile link effect monster. Link to 1900, bottom left, bottom right. Two reptile monsters. Any two generic reptile support. You can... Only use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each. Quick effect, you can discard a monster, place A counters on face-up monsters equal to the original level of the discarded monster. <laughs> That's cool, it goes with the original. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon any number of reptile monsters with different names from your graveyard except link monsters up to the number of monsters your opponent controls with A counters. What a throwback! But I don't know, it has to be destroyed. At least it's not destroyed by an opponent's card effect, so you can make this, distribute A counters to your opponent's monsters, should they have multiple. So I'm assuming you're going second here, or giving them monsters somehow. Then you would have to destroy this, say, Diagram, or something silly. Uh, Because you're not going to Dark Hole, then you won't get effect. This is, this is another weird one for me, but it is exciting to see an alien Link monster. I'm feeling more and more like... Uh, they learned their lesson with Link Brains Pack 1. And we got a Dragoonity. Eat your heart out, Phoenix Flare X. Dragoonity Knight Romulus. A Wind Dragon Link Effect. Link to 1200, bottom left, bottom right. Two Dragon and or Wing Beast Monsters except for tokens. You can only use this card's name's first and second effects once per turn each. If this card is Link Summoned, you can add a Dragoonity Spell Slash Trap or Dragon Ravine from your deck to your hand. You can just... Add Dragon Ravine? You don't gotta pitch a card? Now we're going places a little bit. This makes up for kind of the terrible support before. If a Dragon Monster is special summoned from the extra deck to your zone this card points to. You can special summon a Dragon or Wing Beast Monster from your hand in defense position, but its effects are negated. Also, it can't be used as Link material, so it's encouraging you to Synchro up into Vajrayana. But then you could just Synchro summon, use it, bring out another, use both those for Link material, or continue to Synchro on up. It's not bad, though. It's it's pretty good. Effects negated kind of stop you from going too crazy, though, so you've got to have another extender or play. Overall, though, great piece. 1,200 doesn't overpower the deck with that boost though of any kind. I think, though, the searching and the utility and the ability to continue up, this, is, this shines a little better than any of the Dragonity support we got, and it's kind of what they needed. A D D D D D D Abyss King Gilgamesh. Everyone's been begging for a D D D link. A Dark Fiend link effect. Only a link to eighteen hundred. Bottom left, bottom right, and any two D D D monsters specifically. D D. Just D D. You can use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each. If this card is special summoned, you can take two DD Pendulum monsters with different names from your deck and place them in your Pendulum zones, and if you do, take a thousand damage. Also, you cannot special summon monsters the rest this turn except DD monsters. So you can't make the super insane boards you used to, but you instantly get access to Pendulum scales. You can still Siegfried and stuff. You don't really get to like, oh, I'm going to set up Harbinger Siegfried Crystal Wing because it restricts you. But it's still decent. You get two cards all the way to the Pendulum Zones. And you can also use effects there, too. It's interesting. I wonder how it'll be utilized or if this is insane. It seems decent to me, but that restriction... It's screaming, not working as you used to. I feel like a lot of people might go with that initially, but it seems pretty good for that effect. If this Link Summon card is destroyed by an opponent's attacking monster or opponent's card effect, so there's that good old restriction we always avoid reading, you can special summon a DD monster from your extra deck or graveyard in defense position. Doesn't ignore cut summoning conditions, but hey, uh, it's it floats, uh, but only to opponents specifically attacking or destruction. That's, it's nice, it's a bonus. I think the first effect's pretty good outside the restriction, and I think it's uh, an instant plus to your scales, you're able to use scale effects. It's not bad at all. I, I don't think it's what people were hoping for, but at the same time, there's insane power just for the turn, though. 
you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh for one turn, let's face it, when you're playing setup decks like DDD, though, you're not really going to be able to protect everything unless you do make insane boards, so it is lacking once what it once had going for it for its couple of weeks of the dominance, like three weeks in the meta, but I'm a fan. Overall, the Dragoonity seems the actual best to me so far. Funny that we got an alien. The Parseth is nice. No, the best by far is the BLS. My bad. This generic insane power by and of far is the best but it doesn't really go for an archetype it's not like what link reigns originally offered it's just a generic insane piece of support that goes into your extra deck any extra deck really three monsters with different names that's any deck is doing that right now for the most part and able to go up into it no restrictions uh, it gains bonuses if you're using a level seven or higher monster for protection any level 7 or higher, not locked to BLS. Like, this this, this is the goo out of here. Thunder Dragon, maybe I'm underestimating it. Let me know. This Mecha King Ghidorah. Parsoth, I'm not feeling it. Too many materials. If it was a Link 2, mayhaps you could have got there. But the whole Counter Fairies problems in the first place are getting bodies on board. Alien, it was funsies. I wonder what else Link Brains Pack 2 will have in store. Honestly, I'm happy it turned out this way. Overall, compared to last year... Big fan of this BLS, though. It's scary. We keep getting these super powerful extra deck monsters like Boral Load, Boral Sword, now this BLS. But cool to see uh, something that might end up getting, you know, hit on a list named BLS. I, I, it's generically just so good. But I don't, I don't know that it'll end up there. It's, it's just, oof. Ooh, that last effect came in clutch for me. I don't know about you guys. So thanks for watching. And what do you guys think about these cards? Let me know. And if you enjoy the discussion, give this video a thumbs up. You don't have to agree with me. Just enjoy the discussion. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. And new rewards on the Patreon exclusive Market Watch feed down there. And also check out Sunny Go Gaming for those shirts that are only going to last through October. Amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! shirts with a 10% discount. I, I think that's all the shoutouts for this this should be a pretty big video. Link Frames Pack 2 is here.